everyone, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you how to restart Windows Explorer when you've accidentally closed it or it's frozen and you don't know how to get it back. Basically, you need to open Task Manager, and in order to do that, let's say uh, Windows Explorer is closed, so we're just going to close it for demonstration reasons. It's not going to affect your computer, uh, it's not going to crash your computer or anything. It's just a program that helps organize things. And let's say you don't have anything at the bottom and you're trying to get, get it back. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Control-Alt-Delete. And you're not going to see me do this because it's going to go into the Windows menu. And since recording is not in the Windows menu, you won't be able to see it. So basically press Control-Alt-Delete and we get to this little window where it says Windows 7 Ultimate for us. And it has options for locking the computer, logging off, changing the password, and starting Task Manager. So we're going to start Task Manager and as you can see it's default with processes, services, performance in the in the tabs and at the top we have different options. We're going to click file and new task run and we're just basically going to run Windows Explorer. The process name is explorer.exe. So we're going to start that right now. And as you can see Windows Explorer has restarted with everything including the windows that we had open before as you can see. Um, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was really quick, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and now you know how to restart Windows Explorer in case it crashes or closes.